Grant, where is that lazy good for nothing? Easy there. I heard you the first time, old bearded one. Bearded one? <laughs> Why you? Yeah. Oops, a bit of time. Do accept my apologies, Commander. <sighs> Enough, just get ready to move out. Now listen carefully. Orange Star forces have been deployed precisely where I anticipated. Okay. Well, good. All that time spent spying on them for, from the inside, I sure hope you know what they're up to. The commanding officer is an untested youngster with a smart mouth, but don't let your guard down. Our contingent in the area has some indirect combat units for you to use. Now get going, Mr. Sharpshooter. Hang on there. You want me to go personally? Like, in person? Why, you lazy no good! What do you think a commanding officer does if you don't get moving? Eh. All right, keep your beard on. I don't much like the idea, but I'm going. Gone at last. Grip is an impudent rogue, but he's also the best marksman I've ever seen. <laughs> that young orange star CEO won't know what hit him. Perfect. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite blue moon CEOs. Let's go. It's time for a gunfight. A new menace has appeared to show off his range. Deploy troops carefully to combat his tactics. And we actually get bases for this one, finally. It took us ages, almost about a, two hours into the game. Also like that they went with his Japanese look instead of the US look. I never understood why they took away the cowboy hat from him in the US release. Andy. Andy, can you hear me? Come in, please. Mm -hmm. Loud and clear. What's up, Nell? You've been given authority to use bases to deploy new units into the battlefield. Do you need a refresher of how to use bases? Oh, dear. Well, let's get through it quickly again before the battle begins. First, move your cursor onto the base and press A. A list of available units will be displayed. Use the control stick or directional buttons or the control pad to scroll through the list and press A to select the unit you want to deploy. Units that you can't afford will appear grayed out, don't forget that. Each day you'll receive funds from all the properties you hold. You'll have to make do with that amount. Good luck. And remember, you can't deploy new units and move them on the same turn. But we got all that, good luck. All right, so let's see. We got a couple tanks to deal with. Got some recons, got some mech units. So I think what I'm gonna do, because no doubt Grid is going to start capturing his properties up there. Let's halt the progress of this one in its tracks. Let's get ourselves an infantry and we'll start pushing up there as well. And let's get ourselves a tank. Yeah, let's go for a tank. That basically costed us everything, but it should be enough to help push the units down here. And basically, the tactic to outmaneuver Grit is to just close the distance with him. Some spit. This area wasn't even Blue Moons to begin with. Blue Moons just getting plain greedy. That's what this is. Fighting for these folk just don't spit well with me. Well, I guess I'll just mosey on out and see what happens. Aha! You've fallen for my ambush. I just realized I never did the CO read for Andy, and well, since we got grid, might as well do a two for one. Andy. Pick up the transceiver now. Uh. Whoa, Nell, I'm here. What's going on? Uh. We just learned that Grid is the opposing CO. He's an indirect fire expert whose attack range exceeds that uh, exceeds the standard distance. Worse, his range gets better when he uses his CO power. Make sure to check Grid's attack range throughout the battle and keep a safe dis distance. Mm -hmm. Understood. Hey, Nell, how do you know so much about this guy? Uh, we, um, we used to be 
close friends. A anyways, that's all I had to tell you. Nell out. Huh? Huh? No, so sure, hung up in a hurry. Did I say something to offend her? All right, Andy, mechanical boy wonder with a good all-round skills. Impulsive to the fault, he is fiercely protective of those he calls friends. And he is average with no specific advantage or disadvantage. Okay, so mechanics misses are waking up early. Yeah, he's just like me. All right, and for grit, a peerless marksman with range attacks, he tends to dislike direct combat. His laid back style makes him depe uh, dependability. Oh, uh, masses dependability. Grits and indirect fire units gain plus one to attack range. However, direct combat units suffer minus 20 to firepower. But as you saw, uh, his units still hit pretty hard, especially with these tanks. So let's keep you here. We're going to start the ambush on these tanks. And as you can see, Grit's artillery, it seeds that a uh, basic artillery. It's basically like a, t a twice size range, so his artillery hits about as far as a rocky unit. And his rockets, uh, yeah, they're kind of insane of the distance that these scenes can cover. Speaking of artillery, uh, enough of that, please. Get our boys over here. We'll have them start capturing the property so we can get a little bit of extra funds. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a recon just to get a little bit of extra firepower, but not so costly because I want to save up for a medium tank to make that big push. Especially since he's got a medium tank protecting the HQ. And I just realized I forgot to capture that city. I'm an idiot. this down there okay we can push up a little bit with our tanks to right about here and then we'll be able to close the distance no problem next turn No, I've been bamboozled. Oh wait, no, he, he's not using his seal power yet. That's just his uh, pre-move taunting. And you are trying to sneak over here. I see what you're up to. I might have to leave there just to stop this mech from crossing the river. He's probably going to be too focused on capturing that, and then he's going to be too focused on capturing this, so we'll be able to take him out the problem. I always thought, like, the blue moon... Uh-oh. 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 And I might as well get you guys up there. Hit. He can hit inside the city, but I'll get the protection right here, and I'll just keep you guys right here. So he's probably gonna go for either this or this. But also, I had the money; I can get that medium tank now, and I'll get some more infantry to continue with the capture process up there.
This is gonna hurt. Yep, about as much as I thought it was going to. Uh oh. Oh no, he's in range of the rockets. here just to start whittling away at this artillery. Let's get ourselves another tank. Let's get you boys moving up here. Let's get you firing across there. And we'll have you guys finish them off. So I'm just going to move you guys back to heal up. Probably won't be enough to take out the APC, but I'm not going to risk it. I think one more infantry should be enough. And then we'll just start capturing the cities up there. How far out? Okay, no, the cities are completely safe against it. Probably should use these guys to take out that artillery, but I kind of want to weaken them both a little bit so they're not that useful. No oh boy. Smug look on his face. Here, let's get a little bit of protection. And we'll take this artillery out. I'm getting kind of worried. I think he might be able to use his seal power come next turn. And if that's the case, I'm definitely going to need to watch out because those rockets are going to basically just going to cover this entire battlefield. start moving you up over here. I might as well. It should be able to tank whatever rockets hit it. And if not, I, I think I have enough to buy another set of mediums. Nope, just short. Oh well. I'll be able to get it next turn. Yep, he's gonna hit me. Sorry to have to do this, but you've left me no choice. Snipe attack. <laughs> the 
get the Wild West whistle. Alright, well, there goes the APC. Honestly, kind of glad he attacked that and not the medium that was sitting right there. But now his two most dangerous units have kind of run their course. It's going to be a while before they're going to be a threat again, so we can now just close the distance and start capturing the properties down here as well. Oh man, that guitar is just... Ugh, Chef's Kiss, such a good job. Right, how far down can this reach? Oh, it can reach quite a ways. Alright then. Can that hit the city? Yes, it can. It can, it can hit basically whatever. Yeah, nope. Have you start capturing that? And we'll have you guys head over here and we'll have you capture this and we'll have you guys capture that. I'm going to save our seal power for when we really need it. Basically, when we're going to make that big push against the medium. Uh-oh. Oh, that was pathetic. I know direct combat's not your specialty group, but geez, that was honestly pathetic. Send you back there to heal up. Alright, I think our medium should be able to close the distance and hit that rocket up there. Nah, just short. Damn. Alright. I need to make some enticing targets for him then. Probably also start getting some rockets of my own to try and hit them from a distance. Just not going to be able to outpace rich units. So it's going to be a little bit of a push so we can just whittle away at his rocket units. So I think my tanks might just be in range of both of them. Nope, he's going through the pretty infantry. Now you're just going to body block. Alright, well that's Recon's taken care of. I'm still kind of surprised that he's not made a move with that tank up there. Actually, let's 
do this. Close the distance with my mechs, and that way we can take him out, and then we can probably have this go after the rockets over there. And I forgot to capture the properties up there again. Yeah, cuts not this coming. All right, and that's why we waited until now to use hyper repair. Wow, really? Going for them and not the max. All right. Oh, that's why. Boys, take them out. not gonna hit it as hard. Yeah, or two points. But at least now we're starting to make some headway into Grit's territory. Sell some rockets and let's get ourselves. I don't even have enough for a tank. I guess we'll just save our points. Just gonna wipe them out with my rocket with your rockets, aren't you? Yep, there they go. Oh, they actually we're in a bit of a bind here because those mediums are just sitting inside a city and they're just gonna keep healing. So they weren't going for the tank, so I can use that to my advantage. One of the rockets is almost out of ammo. I think we're just weakening them both. Nice, got that critical. All right, uh, no safe place for the artillery, so I'll just keep it here and hopefully, you're probably gonna go after the lights, but if you go out the mediums, well then you'll be easy pickings. Get me all riled up. Snipe attack. Oh, you're in range. 
each of those rocket or the artillery. So there goes my medium tanks. I need to get some more tanks back in the fight. Finally, the biggest threat for Grit is now been taken care of. Probably could have done that a lot earlier, but oh well. I honestly forgot that we now had the ability to get rockets, so had we gotten rockets sooner, they probably would have gone a long way as to making this fight a lot easier on me. He's panicking. I think he just got out of range of my artillery, too. Oh, nope. I think we might still be able to hit him. Yep, we can. And with that, that takes care of Grits units. Not shooting. Don't call me Junior. I have a name. It's Andy. That's the spirit. Oh no, that's the spirit. Y'all are new to the Orange Star Army, right? Maybe, but how would you know that? <laughs> oh, now that's cause I'm grit. I was beholden to Orange Star not too long ago myself, so I'm pretty familiar with most of the military types. Well, oh. Y'all beat me this time. Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other on the flip side. So long, Junior. Stop calling me Junior! And the ranking for this is... I'm surprised I got an A with that technique. <laughs> 